so today we're going to take a look at step three in the Magic Gears application process. This is going to be the one verse four training. So by this point, you will have already passed the initial application um, that you filled out with Magic Gears, and you will have passed the demo. Okay, so once you have the Magic Ears platform downloaded to your computer, you'll want to open up that Magic Ears platform. And it's going to pull up any classes you have scheduled. So what you will find with your one on four is once you log in, going to log into that platform and you're going to see those classes you have scheduled. Your 1v4 is going to um, be listed there. What you'll want to do is run through your device check here. Make sure that you've got your camera, that everything is working, um, well, that you can hear everything, that your microphone's working. Make sure everything is all set um, and you will see your class listed here for the 1v4 trial. So about 10 minutes prior to that class starting, you will see that it will say join. Um, so as, as early as 10 minutes, you can get into that classroom. You'll want to click join. It's going to take you right into that class. Okay, great. So now that you are in your uh, portal, you will see that classroom. Once you enter that classroom, what is the 1v4 training? <laughs> Number one, do not stress yourself out. You do not need to prepare anything for this one on four training. Um, you will just get to sit there, watch the trainer, ask any questions you might have, but there won't be anything for you to prepare. One thing you may want to have ready, though, is to make sure that your background um, is what you would be using for teaching. So the trainer will kind of quickly make sure everybody's background is going to be on point um, for Magic Gears. So again, having it clean, nice, you know, not a cluttered <laughs> background um, is definitely going to be helpful. Uh, if you're not sure, the trainer will definitely be able to point that out as well and give you some tips um, if it's not, you know, up to par for Magic Gears as you go through that training as well. Um, so you'll definitely want to enter that classroom about 10 minutes early so you're ready to go. Um, once you get in there, you will see that you will be in the student's position. So there will be yourself and probably about three other teachers who are in training as well. And your screens are going to be at the bottom. So there will be your four screens at the bottom um, in the student's position and the trainer will be in the top um, in the teacher's position in the classroom. That you want to probably plan for about an hour for this training. Probably won't take you that long. I think mine was about 40 minutes, but depending on how many questions um, that you and the other teachers have, plan on about one hour of, of time for that 1v4 training. What the training is going to go over is a couple of things. Number one, it's going to cover what the basic policies are, um, the basic policies, procedures, kind of requirements for Magic Ears. So you'll definitely want to pay attention, take any notes um, that you might need so you've got that information there uh, later on when you might need it. The second thing that you're going to cover in that classroom is going to be what it's like to teach a group class. So it's definitely a unique uh, unique situation. You're teaching up to four students. You definitely need some different skills than you would in a normal one-on-one -on -one situation teaching those group classes. So the trainer will be able to go over kind of what they're looking for, what you would need. And along with that, they'll be going over the different functions of the portal. So you won't get a chance to practice in this situation because you're in the student's position, um, but you will get a chance to practice all those features like muting the student um, or moving the screens around. You'll get to practice that in your one-on-one -on -one session, which we'll talk about later in a different video. But for this session, you're gonna just kind of get a broad overview of how that works and what you um, will need to do in order to use those different functions. And the teacher uh, trainer will walk you through that in the classroom. And then the lastly, what you're going to get is a chance to go over some questions and answers. So this is a great time if you do have any questions to ask the um, trainer that's in there. They'll be able to give you answers. They've been doing this for a while. They are really awesome. Um, so definitely utilize them. Ask them any questions you might have. Again, pay attention to what questions the other teachers are asking because they might be asking something that you didn't even think of. Um, and again, a great time to take notes if you have anything um, that you want to write down so you make sure you remember it for later. 
at the end they'll let you know about going into the one-on-one -on -one. so that's going to be the next step which we'll talk about um, the only thing i'm going to mention in this video is it will take a little while on your portal to click over for you to be able to schedule that one-on-one -on -one. so just be prepared it can take up to about two day business days for that to show up in your portal in the meantime it's still going to show that one v4 in your portal and scheduling the one v4 you do not have to schedule it again once you've completed it you've completed it but you will have to wait a little bit for that to click over if you if it doesn't seem to be clicking over after you've waited a couple of days and nothing's happening make sure you contact magic ears on skype and just um, check in with them um, let them know it hasn't switched over yet so you can schedule that one-on-one -on -one. hey guys if you haven't subscribed yet be sure to click that button i see you subscribe so you don't miss on any more of these great videos about magic ears and other uh, tips for teaching English online. See you next time, guys. Bye.